right, Stewart's on vacation. You know what that means? We may have a show virtually World Cup free. Here are your big stories. We're calling it President Obama's not so greatest hits. He once again called all of the scandals plaguing his administration phony. But he didn't stop there chalking up mistakes to boneheaded federal workers. And just another day in Obama's America, now doctors are monitoring your credit card purchases. They want to make sure that you're staying healthy. And Harvard says a housing boom is coming thanks to, wait for it, millennials. What? And two congressmen put a million dollar reward on anyone who can recover Lowe's learners' emails. Barney and Company, we're about to begin. The news that's coming off is just, these are just Washington fights. They're fabricated issues, they're phony scandals. Yeah, 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 we heard that one before, but we're saying that these scandals revolving around his presidency are very real. IRS targeting, veterans waiting forever to see a doctor, Benghazi, the disaster that is Obamacare, trading five terrorists for Bo Bargdahl, and how about this dismal economy? Nothing phony about any of those. Mary Kissel from the Wall Street Journal is here. Mary, he's, he's just not taking responsibility for anything that's happened on his watch, is he? No, he isn't. It's almost an adolescent response, isn't it, Charles? If something goes wrong, it's not his fault. You know, it, in some respects, I feel like the president is very frustrated and confused uh, as to why his administration is running into all of these scandals. Because I think he points at big bureaucracies and he says, do this, do that. He says to the VA, please go fix this. And when it doesn't get fixed and when we have these, these kinds right. of scandals, he doesn't so, get it. So part of it is management style. He's not hands-on at all. I mean, just sort of, okay, he, maybe he's a big-picture guy. He sees what he wants <laughs> and throws it out there, and he thinks everyone will execute on it. I mean, are we giving him too much credit? Um, I think that this is a president who doesn't understand how business works, doesn't understand how the economy works. He certainly doesn't understand why big bureaucracies don't work. And that's why in the WSJ NBC News poll, you had 54% of yeah. Americans say that this president can't lead the country he can't get the job done. And by the way, I think it all began with blame Bush. Okay, I want you to listen to this one. Listen to what he actually had to say about federal workers. Are there some federal workers who do boneheaded things? Absolutely. I remember the first week I was on the job, I talked to my defense secretary, Bob Gates, who's older and had been there a long time. I said, do you have any advice for me, Bob? He says, one thing you should know, Mr. President, is that at any given moment, on any given day, somebody in the federal government's screwing up. All right, Mary, someone is screwing up, but I've never heard the president say that he screwed up. He doesn't. It's all about him. That's why you hear I in his speeches all the time. But to say boneheaded about a scandal like the VA scandal, Charles, where people died, yeah. where you have almost 60,000 veterans waiting for care, where the IG has done, what, uh, 19 audits since 2005 about these wait time problems? I mean, look, uh, this presidency is going nowhere, and I think uh, for him to come out and ignore these kinds of problems in the run-up to November gives Republicans a gift. Well, there's absolutely no doubt about that. You know, if I'm a Democrat, I'm shaking in my boots. Uh, but, you know, you actually just don't want the president anywhere on this camera, let alone coming to... Uh the campaign in your district, but I agree with you. It's interesting that you would use such, you know, a boneheaded. Dismissive, is what, dismissive boneheaded is when someone forgets shots. to mop the corner, you know, not when uh, people die under your watch. All right, thanks a lot, Mary. Uh, right now, though.